Mr. Mad Up in this bitch. Come on at you. Bring a guy that a motherfucker. So, tell him. Uh, recently, uh, I think this was today, matter of fact, I found out that Culver's got a new item. So, I personally, uh, love me some Culver's. I think, uh, that last time was the, the triple double, the murder burger, Curder burger, murder burger, nah, uh, whatever. It was a two patties and the two Curder patties and then the two orders of bacon or something. I forget already, but it was really good though. Uh, normally, actually, the burgers are a little bit on the bland side, but they're always fresh. You can tell. You, like, you walk in, you smell that fresh beef cooking. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, anyways, they, they released two new items. Uh, I don't know when, but I just I just saw it, I think, either yesterday or today, and I was thinking about it the whole time. I'm like, man, I should give me some name callers, shouldn't I? So it's a uh, barbecue. Yeah. Water on deck here. It's a barbecue bacon. Hold on, let me see. Barbecue cheddar double. So I got one of each because it was a burger and, a, and a, a chicken sandwich. The burger you could do single or double patties, but their patties are a little bit, you know, smaller. So you can get away with a double without like being overwhelmed by too much, you know, beef in one section of the sandwich. The chicken sandwich, uh, they could do it in grilled, crispy, or spicy. My fat ass has to get it fried, uh, of course, you know, and also. I have to get both sandwiches, you know, because I'm eating for two, y'all. Uh, and I'm a little piggy. Here's my snout. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> what the hell? Also, uh, I had to get the, the fries because I love me. I think, matter of fact, crinkle cut fries are like near and dear to my heart. I don't know. They, they just scream old school Americana to me. And that was so good. They, they, I don't know if they're my favorite fry because I do like like checkers fries, like those seasoned fries. Um, but these are always a hitter. Um, little napkins on deck. They're so courteous over there. They're like, hi, how may I please help you? And it's not like, you know, and, and this is in the city, mind you. So it's not like, what the fuck you want, nigga? Um, I got cheese. So th this is probably why I like uh, crinkle cut fries so much because I typically get them with cheese. And again, cheese fries to me is like, just like a nostalgic hit. Cause I, I remember as a shorty, like the only time I would get fast food, it would be like cheese fries. Cause that's probably all I could afford at the time or something like that. And it was always like the cheapest thing, but like the most satisfying thing. Cause you get that little cheese, you get all that little starchy goodness from the uh, the uh, the fries. And, and I don't know if they had, I think they were doing crinkle cup fries back then or I don't know, whatever. But it's just always a good nostalgia hit for me. Um, This whole... Please don't judge if I stick my whole face in this bag. That's what it says. Which, uh, I'm gonna stick my whole face in this meal. So let's go ahead and run these. So again, um, there's a chicken version. And the, the, the appeal with this is the, um, the fact that the, uh, uh, the bun, I think, is like a cheddar bun. So I don't know if it's kind of like a, um, uh, like a Cheez-It style bun or something, or if it's cheddar melted on top. Like, I don't know if there's cheese incorporated into the dough itself, or if it's just like a cheese that's like melted on top, like an Asiago bun or some shit like that. Um, but it's got a cheese bun and uh, it's got barbecue sauce, which typically I'm not, uh, you know, too on game with barbecue on my burgers or chicken sandwiches for that matter. But uh, it's got like the little onion ring. So it's kind of like a rodeo burger from Burger King or just like, uh, you know, that style of like, Texas air quotes, um, you know what I'm saying? So here's the, uh, so again, I got one of each. Cause I'm, a, I'm a fat boy. I only eat once a day though. So it's kind of like I eat twice a day in just one sitting. So I guess that works, right? So this one is the burger and it comes in a nice little diaper. Let's catch all the little poops at the bottom coming out. And uh, let me see here. Let's go ahead and pop the top open on this bad biatch. So I don't see any cheese melted on top of itself. Maybe a little bit, a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what that is. It could be boogers. Is it boogers? Um, nice melted uh, cheese right there. I think that's a cheddar cheese, maybe. Got three onion rings, the burger patties. Not seeing anything in between other than more cheese. And I hope on the bottom, 
Okay, they added a pickle. Maybe, it's a, what the hell is that, mayonnaise? Some type of mayonnaise or something. And then a little barbecue sauce. So, there we go with that one. That one is, uh, that one's looking really good, as a matter of fact. But before I dive into that one, mm, that beef tastes really good. You can tell it's fresh beef. Like, it's just, it's got that, like, quality, like, of non-frozen beef. Let me hit this, though, real quick, because I got to need a little... A little appetite booster. Not that I need one. Shout out to violated community standards. That's me all day. I'm always violating community standards. As a matter of fact, this is the second time purchasing purchasing this shirt uh, because I fucked up my original one somehow. I don't know if you can see these like weird looking uh, suspicious stains that look eerily similar to body fluids. It's not. Get your mind out of the gutter. What's wrong with y'all? And this one actually looks nice and bright, so I, I, I kind of don't regret getting a second one here because this one looks a little bit on the faded side, but I think it was like uh, epoxy or muffler cement or something. I know I was working on my car. Uh, oh, no, I remember now. When I was doing my water pump, I think this was the, uh, it's like a sealant or something that you got to put around the, the uh, fucking gasket or something of the water pump. And I think I might, may have like spread it on there and then it, it congealed or whatever. You can't wash it out. I tried every degreaser, chemical cleaner, all that shit, nothing, nothing worked. So I just said, fuck it, I'll just buy another shirt. It goes $30. Why are you complaining about money, nigga? <laughs> yeah, I forget what I, never mind. Inside joke, shout out to the homeboy, hell yeah. All right, this one uh, is a Pollo version of the, look, this button looks a little suspect there. Uh, no boogers on this one, so that's nice. No diaper either, so it's not going to catch the poops falling all over the place. Um, but it comes with, which I don't typically like chicken, I mean cheese with, what? I don't like chicken with cheese on it, but I guess it'll do. This is a spicy patty underneath here. Let's go ahead and deconstruct two onion rings. So they, they skimped out, again, more, uh, th that's like a little dab of fucking barbecue sauce here. Uh, two onion rings, two pickles. I don't know about that combination of mayonnaise with that little tiny bit of barbecue sauce that they put on here. Um, but again, I, I'm not really the biggest fan of barbecue sauces. On my sandwiches, uh, I don't even, like, cause I don't even do it on my ribs or anything usually. Um, I don't know what I put barbecue sauce on. Sometimes on my ribs, it's good on ribs every once in a while, but I'd prefer like if you make a really good rib, it could just be a dry rub. So let's go ahead and move this one in here so we can have them side by side. And I'll do the opposite, matter of fact, because this is the heftier of the two. And then we'll just consolidate. So now we got the two meals. And uh, also, you, you can't come, you can't uh, go to Culver's without getting the cheese curds. I don't know if you, been, you know, you guys have a Culver's where you're at? Is, is Culver's just like a Midwestern thing? I'm not sure. And no, pass by. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shout out to cheese curds. Uh, I passed by like the main. Um, mm, the main like headquarters or the biggest Culver's in, of all time, but I already forgot where. Maybe in Wisconsin somewhere. Maybe in Michigan. I I'm not even 100% sure anymore. The homeboy, hell yeah, actually might know, matter of fact. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into these. Uh, I think I'm going to run with the the pollo one first. Mm, just to see what the hell's going on here. Because that burger, man. Mm -mm. No, never mind. I'm going to do the burger first because the pollo might still be retaining some of that deep fried heat. Whereas the burger, you know, I, I want that gonna, to be as hot as possible here. So let's go ahead and jump right into the burger. Peel back the uh, the old diaper roux. Let me get a big old, big old bite. Uh, mm. That's just a good burger. A little on the bland side, honestly. Um, yeah, I feel like they always lack like a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And I could add it myself, but it's like, why should I have to? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mess. Open this 
spill soup. First things first, I could taste that cheddar all day long, motherfucker. Um, onion rings, okay, I get them a little bit at the back end, a little bit of a crisp. The barbecue sauce is not too prominent, which is nice. I'm gonna smear that right back. I don't know if I taste any pickles. Let me go ahead and jump in on another bite here. That looks so good. Ah, man. The pickle fell out. One of them did. I didn't even use a diaper properly to uh, catch all of that mess. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it the right way here. I'm going to show you the guts. We can get all up in them guts together. That's a nice burger, right? That was a good ass burger. Way better than Latina and Cali's Junior Bacon Cheeseburger that was still apparently frozen and the cheese 100% solid. I, man, that's a damn, that's a crime against nature. Or humanity, rather. Let's go ahead and get this uh, other bite here. I want one with the pickle in it so I can kind of like pause, pause. So I can get a little bit of that. Uh, you gotta get this bite first though. All right, now I got access to this middle bite here with the pickle. There we go. And it's got everything well spread. It's got the barbecue, I can see it. The pickle, the little onion rings. And the patties, which don't look, uh, they look a little on the dry side, to be honest, but they're still good. I don't know. Oh. All right. Sorry for eating like an animal, <clears throat> but I am an animal. Mmm. Mm hmm. That pickle crunch just. Accelerated it to a new level. Mixed with the onion ring. Even the mayo, which keeps it a little bit on the moisture side. So I guess props for adding the mayo. Not really tasting the barbecue. I could smell it more than I taste it. Um, it smells kind of like, I don't know, open pit or something. Like, I don't know. It's not, it's not like a quality barbecue sauce or anything. It's not, it, it ain't no sweet baby rays, I'll tell you that. Shout outs to Thomas Zuckerberg. Mark Zup, Muckerberg, whatever. Hmm. Cheddar shines through and through. The little crunch from the onion ring is amazing. Hmm. Yeah. That's a really good sandwich. Let me turn this fucking, uh, on my phone. I'm turning these fans on because this. That, that whiskey sucking shit already. 66 degrees up in this bitch. It's, it's like a fucking heat wave. On. Jesus, Lord. Woo. All right. So we got, uh, oh, that's so much better. Let me get, let me, let me highlight these little cheese fries too, though. This, I, this, this is graduated from a review to a muck bang now. And I'm all about this banging mucks, apparently, nowadays. What? Oh, mutts? Oh no, mucks. Right, right. Never mind. Hold on. Mm. Always get cheese with your fries, man. You have the rest of your life to work out. You know what I'm saying? But cheese fries are forever. Come on. Stop your shit. Alright. Mmm. Trying to get away from fast food, man. Like, I still cook it all the time at home, but like, man, these niggas always drop something new. Not these niggas specifically, but just, you know, fast food restaurants in general. And it's like, man, I gotta have that. So, might be something I need to overcome, but why would I want to? All right, let's hop into this uh, chicken sandwich right here. It's the spicy version, like I said earlier. The bun is looking just dilapidated. Like, this look like Chicago City potholes. Like, they look my whole suspension. Um, all right, so let's jump into the pollo. Let me let me get a let me get another shot skis. I'm getting off the rails. I got one other video too, by the way, right here. Not even sure exactly what it is, but uh, we'll see. You know, it's always a mystery. It's like mysterious Mondays, even though it's Saturday. It's belly. What the hell? Put 
duh, you're eating fat food all the time, man. Your cholesterol is going to be through the roof. Nah, problem solved. <laughs> Let me uh, hop right into this hope and see what the. Oh, I want this bike for sure. Like I almost wanted this bike because it's got the little little culita popping out. But then, and it's got the little onion ring right there. I just may have to like reposition this bike. I'm gonna put this pickle right here because it looks like I'm playing with my food. He's got the little you know little booty. But then it's got the pickle right there, just just shining on the nigga. So like, let me just go ahead and you know what? I should have added bacon to this. To be honest, this would have probably set it off. I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna slide that right there. But I probably, in hindsight, bacon not getting bacon was the mistake here. And on that burger, matter of fact, I should have got bacon on both of these shits. Stupid, stupid, fucking stupid. All right, ready? Let's go ahead and run this. I don't know how this patty rotated here. Here we go. That's like. This is this is my perspective right here. Look at that bite. Why don't you just here? I'll give you something. <laughs> Open wide. Yeah. All right. Shout out to the Hague Report. Uh, look at all that cheese, man. This is better. Never mind. Better me than you. Mmm. Wow. Am I crying? Um. Wow. Yo, Culver's Burgers, they're great. Don't sleep on these sandwiches, though. This spicy little chicken sandwich, this this blows everything out of the water. This is better than Popeye's. This is better than Wendy's. This is better than uh, Burger King. Get that Chip King that they uh, leased from Young Brands, you know, like similar to the, not as good as Chick-fil-A, though. Chick-fil-A is top S plus tier all day long, but this is a great sandwich, man. Run and get you these. They're, these are expensive though, mind you. One sandwich, it doesn't even give me the, uh, that, this, this is like a bar. It's like when you go to the bar and they're like, we got drinks and you're like, well, how much would this drink be? And they're like, we got drinks, we said. And then you get one, it's like $15. They say, you know, if your tab is $270 with the tip at Oshaval, just for a burger and some chicken and, uh, never mind, let me stop. All right, so let's let's finish this up here, so we can. Seventeen minutes, good lord. Wow. Mm mm. Okay. It might be sweet baby rays. I don't know. There's some type of sweetness. No, it's like a smoky flavor as well. But there's some type of sweetness going on. And caramelized um, sugars here. That, um, let me get this other bite here. <laughs> oh my God. I'm ravenous right now. That's a really good chicken sandwich. I can't wait to turn this shit off and enjoy the shit out of this, what's left of it. With my little fries and my little cheese curds. Shout out to the cheese curds. The squeaky cheese gets the grease. All right? Like the squeaky wheel gets now? All right. The joke is murdered now that I have to explain it. You can't see it, but all right. Well, <clears throat> man, hmm. Yo, I just had a revelation. <laughs> Let me not spoil it for you. One of these days, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something at Culver's. That you're never gonna see coming. You might you might see it coming, knowing me and how fat my mind thinks. But yo, I got some. I got something up here <laughs> for food mods. <coughs> Cause I got a food mod, then a motherfucker. 
So today, all right. What will I be rating these uh, monstrosities? Highly ex exceeded my expectations. 2.8975 out of three. <clears throat> Burger, 2.1, 2. 2.25 for the burger. Slightly exceeded my expectations. I think it was the, uh, it must have been the barbecue sauce, the little pickle, the little, no, 2.3, 2. Uh, 2.37 with the, uh, with the burger. After the bite with the, the pickle, the onion ring, the barbecue, and the, the, uh, the cheddar, and the mayonnaise. 2.5. But this is a 2.8, whatever I just said earlier. Three is perfect, perfect. But uh, this surprised me a lot more than the burger did. The, the, the chicken sandwich was really fucking good. It's crispy, it's on point, it's juicy, it's fresh. Uh, it, it melded well together with all the, oh, I didn't even realize the, 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 the bun. But I'm gonna try the bun separately a little bit here. I just wanna see what, what, the, what makes this a cheddar bun. So I don't see any cheddar flecks or anything like that on the inside. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's what I was tasting the entire time because there was a strong cheddar presence and I, I, I attributed it to the uh, cheddar cheese that's melted on this double patty. But let me try this bread here and see what the fuck's going on. No. It's in the bread. Mmm. It's like a croissant. It's almost like a croissant. The bread itself <coughs> is almost like a croissant. I just want to like disassemble. Like, all right, this has got the mayo and everything. I shouldn't have used this side, but I'm gonna just try the bread. No, this is all mayo. But it's like a croissant. It's flaky. It's uh, a little on the dense side. It's. Hmm. Maybe the cheddar bun is a is a real thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit off this uh, chip pollo sandwich here, so I can get just the uh, a little tiny bit of mayonnaise here. Just the flavor. I'm gonna wipe wipe this shit down here. Just a flavor to bun because I want to see what this cheddar bun <clears throat> is all about. It's dense. It's rich. It's oily even. I don't taste the cheddar though. Kind of. It's subtle. It's there. Yeah. Mm hmm. It is reminiscent of goldfish crackers or Cheez Its, but in a softer vessel. It's, it's, it's definitely shining through. It's not just the cheddar cheese on the, uh, on the burger itself. Matter of fact, I'm going to take some of the cheddar cheese here from the burger itself that managed to uh, retain itself on the, uh, what I assume is some type of wax wrapper here, but I can't seem to get it off, so is it maybe it's just paper? It's not wax. It's, it's literally stuck on here permanently. There we go. Come on, come on. There it is, I peeled it off. A little cheddar, right? All right, here we go. No. This is a deeper, danker sensation. Shout out to uh, the stoners out there that know about dank, I guess. I don't personally fuck with that shit because I don't want to grow gynecomastia. I already got them. Why would I need more? Gynecomastia. Uh, no. This is different. The bun, it's got, an oil, it's got a pocket of oiliness and cheddarness. So it's, it, this is like the red uh, lobster cheddar baked biscuits in bun form. It's got that almost sweet oiliness, cheddary dankness 
thickness, richness. Yo, run and get you one of these. They're expensive as shit, though. I, this whole meal cost me like 30 bucks. I want to say one burger was like 10 bucks. The other burger was like eight or nine bucks. The fries, maybe like three bucks. I think this shit was like another three bucks or so. But, man, tax, you know. Man. Anyway. Whatever my score was earlier, whatever my score was earlier, uh, run and get you these, man. Run out and get you these. Like, don't, don't walk, nigga. Run. Throw out your, your hamstring when you're running. Throw out your calf muscles. So you're like, oh, oh. And then you start limping and you're like, hey, uh, can I get one of those? And your shit's like there and they're like, are you all right? And you'd be like, no, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Can I just get my rodeo double burger, but also my rodeo chicken sandwich in spicy, mind you. Oh shit, and they're like, you need like some salt water or something, some potassium to like help with the, yes, I do, but like I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that a little bit later. Don't worry about that right now. Worry about my burgers and the cheese sauce with the fries and the curds. It's gonna be 30 bucks, I know, like I got, I got some potassium and magnesium at home. My shit's, look at it, my shit's like almost bruised now at this point. Do that, run that. <laughs> this is the stupidest video. This is the longest video of all time, mind you. All right, guys, uh, I got one more video coming after this one. Please stay tuned. If not, um, I don't know, man, I guess I'll catch you in the next rip, right? Whatever. That's cool, too. You know, I, I, I love you either way. Why would I diss you? I'm not going to diss you over that. Come on. How did I get this drunk so quick? Anyways, thank you all for watching. Peace out.